and be rude Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they wanna rise up while you drown They wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines So I won't give up, I'm gonna make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless To another Hogwarts Legacy live stream. <clears throat> I just gotta say, how about them Eagles? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty happy that they didn't win. Only, only because I know so many Eagles fans that are just, they just like to rub things in their face and it's glorious to see, uh, see karma spit it right back at them. So, great season it was a great season it was a great game 38 35 comes down to that call at the end like it, it's a hold you can't hold I don't, I don't know what to tell you but at the same time it's like all game they were just kind of letting both teams play uh philly was getting the majority of the letting them play feels uh, hello varial so like I don't know. That one call, that doesn't really make the game for me. It was a great game. Uh, one of the better Super Bowls probably in the last four years. It was a really, really strong game. But here we go. Some Hogwarts. So, Varial, did you watch the game at all tonight?
Uh, well, you definitely missed a good one this time around. How has work been ever since the debacle that you went through? It's been okay? Alright, let's... Maps... Ooh, let me check my resources quick. Eh, 16. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take a visit. Make a little bit extra potions and stuff before we start doing some quests. God, I love the room of requirement. Omaha! I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh, what sort of overall look Oof. most appeals to you? I, I, I need you to Actually, stop being in the way. The time. So I really need there. I need you to get a life. Nice, nice, that's what's up. How are you enjoying the game? <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> uh, that's funny, bud. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Alright, man. You do that. Yeah, I'm definitely in a good mood. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in a really good mood just because the Eagles lost. I'm laughing at some... Oh, nice. I love it. I'm laughing at some Philly fans right now thinking that they got robbed. My goal is to stay over 20, 20 healing potions. That's my goal. Which one? This thing? The moon calf? Or the little one? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a shame you can't get into these games. 
Especially if it had like some type of multiplayer to it, it'd be really fun to play with you in. You can allegedly do things with an ostrich. I don't want to know, bud. <laughs> I know, but I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. You're, like, way better at quoting Letter Kenny than I am. You have any thoughts on the game where you, you were able to watch it, right? <laughs> I, I did it. <laughs> Don't be mad, bro. Will you eat already? Jeez. Hurt should be MVP of the game. That penalty is a bullshit kill. Other than that, it was a good game. I already know that you feel the same way I do about that call. Like, if you're not going to call shit throughout the whole game, why call the last one? You know what I mean? Like, why be the deciding factor at the end of the game? But, I mean, overall, that be, it, it, it was a good call. It was a holding. Like, he is clearly holding. Don't know what to tell him. It's like it's like we've always talked about the best refs are the ones you never hear about or the best the best ref games are the ones you don't hear the refs about it's like they weren't even there it's just like it's like they need to have something talked about with the refs I don't know. I, I definitely think it was a good call, but it wasn't the right call to make, if that makes sense. Like, like you say, you can't let them play, like, all game, and then when it comes to something being on the line, you know, we start making the calls. It wasn't a bad call. It just shouldn't have been called. Should definitely break out the fireball. He held the period. <laughs> and like, I'll be honest, Philadelphia got away with murder on their line. 
all game. Oh, I love the way these things eat. These things are weird looking, aren't they? I'm like the Pokemon master now. I think that's everything I want to take care of right now. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you brewed. Shut up, Deke. Nobody asked you. Dragon Hide Protector's Cloak. I am thinking about it. I wish you could just lock your appearance in so you don't have to do this every time. Oh, oh, I did a thing. Maybe I don't have all the wand handles. Never mind. I thought I did get them all. Apparently I do not. I did not. All right. Time for some questing. I think I'm supposed to meet him in the map chamber. Good call. <clears throat> you would be wise not to underestimate this student. 
Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I have received your owl. I was able to speak with Lodgok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? I believe he's trustworthy, yes. He seems sincere, and Zerona Ryan trusts him. Very well. Supposing he can be trusted, will he help us get to Ranrock? I retrieved a stolen helm. He hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some answers. Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity. <coughs> Goblins and wizards, I surmise. When visiting my portrait at my castle. Rockwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. You didn't see anything? Speak with anyone? I did not. In fact, I did not make myself known. I only recently returned there and did not recognize nor trust anyone that I heard. I stayed out of sight, so as not to tempt my portrait's destruction. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. I guess it won't give me a location until I actually leave. Handy resource indeed. There we go. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Just tell him we look. Well, if he are. It does sound easier. 
This dude there. It's no Dallas. Lovely to see you both. He wasn't there a second ago. If only I'll get you all. I'm curious why he hasn't said something about me using an unforgivable curse. Revelio. Ah, oh, up there. That's our way in. Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a Keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, Bring me the child. We already knew they were after you. But now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Revelio. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? Well. Oh, my God. 
Enjoy this. Well, she enjoyed it. Revelio. my gear slots are full unbelievable it's all right we could just teleport right back not that bad not, not, not that big of a deal kitten see so you hopped right up here and now you're trying to attack my cord oh it won't let me switch I, I, I might have to leave that sucks maybe it'll let me switch when I Get up here. Get a kitten, they said. It'll be great, they said. <laughs> no, it, it is great. It's just pain. You know what? Screw it. I'm just going to lose all the money. try to keep that gotta stop forgetting to sell it's the bane of my existence right now Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. Uh, well, you know, don't don't play with my mic, buddy. <laughs> I suppose that's the quick way down. Rebellion. Okay, this. Is there something to those symbols on the walls? There is. I've seen symbols like these before. I need to find all of them, then cast at them quickly in succession. Oh, we got it. Rebellion. You won't let me through? Seriously? You can't make that jump? Sorry, bud. This is all. This is all you could do. It's either here or down. Can't let you roam it on the top of Rebellion. my desk. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. It's not showing me a map on this. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Branrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Branrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, Revelio. we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No, things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Sir, surely I've proven myself. In light of what's happened, perhaps you should tell me everything now. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. Rebellion. 
I would join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber. Revelio. Revelio. I like these little trials. It's a dragon. Rebellion. Making sure it's not on the chest. Rebellion. There is a chest there. Rebellion. That pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. We got in the Yosa.
See if I got it right. I didn't see this at first. I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how? Revelio. Let's 
so cool. Rebellion. There's a pillar here, but no ledge near it for me to grab onto. Wingardium Leviosa! The Pulsar! Is it possible to pull one of those blocks through the entry? After pulling the block out through the archway, I can place it where it can be climbed on while on the other side of the archway. I like that he tells me after I solve it.
I'm sort of confused about this one. I was hoping for something better than that. That was disappointing. Give me a puzzle for those goggles. Come on, guys. Boss fight. I'm smelling it. Giving me the potions. Revelio. that this thing's in the middle of Ariel. We don't like it at all. Uh, okay. Last way. There's like a twist to it too. Incendio. Confirmed. 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 
glad you do. Okay. Definitely give it a go. What a relief. I feel like some of my gameplay and my games are poopy. Rebellion. I mean, I, I like doing it, it's a hobby. I wanna keep at doing it. And hopefully we could go somewhere with it. Rugged robes? You're telling me I got poop for this? I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in. Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. <coughs> I've something to show you. Father... These are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. What have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Hmm. Revelio. I think this marks halfway done with the game, boys. Well, the story, at least. Revelio. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. 
Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? What was the glowing strand that Isadora pulled from her father's chest? Appreciate it, It was Becca. pain. We you will understand more GT7 about her actions as you complete the trials. Back on the channel soon. I'm ready I was for hoping whatever for comes tomorrow next. morning, but in that the case, kids don't have school. Introductions are in order. So Tuesday morning. Allow me to GT7 introduce content. former we'll Hogwarts back. headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order immediately. Of course. Professor Fitzgerald needs some time to clear the way forward. Until then, you should continue to hone your magic. If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. There you go. I mean, I, I agree. I know. With I know. that half Continue and half. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. I'll explain in a second after the story. Hopefully we'll soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon. Oh, it's a new season. It's a new season. It is winter time. Alright, from what I mean, it's like... <coughs> Excuse me. Like, it is... I suspect you are the one who has been interfered with a rather Oh my gosh, it just keeps talking. Matter. The Demigai statues and the moons contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. Come on, come on, is that it? I don't think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demiguys, Moons. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay him a visit. Okay, so what I was saying is like, when you look for games on YouTube or Twitch... I have been asked to teach you the exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Like, you want to watch those games, right? So it's specifically speaking like you want to watch people play gt and so you sub to that person and like like I, I feel like that's that's what you want to watch i mean not everybody's gonna want to watch me play like lego games if that makes sense but the people that you know subbed to watch me play lego games and vice versa you know they wouldn't want to see me play gt unless they actually like my content no matter what i'm streaming so like I said, I, I, I feel like you're half right. 
but I feel like there's another part to it. But I'll be uh, right back at Durka. Man, we are like dead center in the middle of this game right now. Half on challenges, halfway through the game. I'm loving it.
first thing we are doing is going to Hogsmeade to sell. All kinds of like side quests opened up now. <laughs> I wonder how the game looks in winter. Hogsmeade, here I come. Beautiful. Can't imagine. You're back. Nice to see you again. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. <laughs> means a lot. Uh, yeah, that's the one thing about streaming that I do miss. Is I do it so much, I, got, I, I miss like Thanks actually hanging by. out in his Hope chat. Hope to see you again. You know, all the help that girl's given me. Like, I kind of feel bad sometimes. I just want to go out of the city and fly because I, I want to see the world and snow. Like, oh my god, Burial, look at this shit, dude. It's the whole world. Oh my god. Look at this. This is amazing. Rebellion. Made with the leaves of the Alahusti tree, this fudge is a delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter. You can always give advice, Darka. I, I actually don't mind advice at all. This one confuses me. I don't know what to do here. Incendium. I don't know what I did. I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to do. Not at all. See, this stuff makes me think I'm supposed to, like, transmog. Like, break down, maybe? I've been studying Salazar Slytherin's spellbook. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Oh my gosh, dude. I think we're gonna learn another spell. 
Hold on. Oh my gosh, we have another thing. Bombarda, that is a great spell. Deary call. Will it track it for me? It will. Go for it, Ariel. Go live, buddy. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. <laughs> this could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Oh, okay. Is there another one over here? Don't. Assignment's all finished. During the day. Man, I'm ready for a new spell. I'm gonna talk to Sebastian right after, too. There's so much we don't know about beasts. So much. To <clears throat> Excellent work today. Class dismissed. Well, can't say I'm terribly fine. I take it you're ready to learn your new spell. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. I will, Professor. I will hold you to that promise. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. The exploding charm. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead. Oh, 
on the pumpkins. Robata. Excellent wand work. Cast a spell just like that every time. Sword and in control. Alright, I even saved some talent points for this. <clears throat> I like it. I love the reference. All right, we're going to talk to Sebastian now. We're almost level 30, let's go. All right, uh... What are you up to now? Need I remind you that you are studying at Hogwarts and not the three broomsticks? You'll never become an aura at this rate. So get your head out of your butt. You'll never believe what I've learned. What did you discover in the spellbook we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spellbook was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. It was hard to do, but casting Crucio was our only option. And I'm glad we did it, because in the spellbook I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. We need to tell him. He's the reason we found the book and he deserves to know what you've learned. You've seen how he frets about the dark arts. I promise I'll tell him when I found the relic. When I know more, I shall send an owl. And don't feel sorry for Ominous. Keeping this to ourselves for now is for his own good. I'll decide what's for my own good. Ominous, we were just about to get some air. Care to join? You're a liar, Sebastian. I heard everything. You swore you'd never engage in anything to do with dark magic again. No, I didn't. I said I understood you wanting that. I'd never swear to give up on finding a cure for Anne. You don't know when to stop, do you? I know when not to stop. Leave this alone, Ominous. I'll be on my way. I am not letting this go. Ominous, Sebastian meant well. I appreciate you telling Sebastian not to keep this from me, but going after that relic is not a good idea. Sebastian doesn't even realize it, but he's as irresponsible and reckless now as his parents were years ago. It's why they died. I knew his parents died, but I never heard what happened. Mr. and Mrs. Sallow were professors, spent nearly every waking moment in the cellar library, noses buried in books. Anne and Sebastian were upstairs when it happened. They heard a sudden crash and ran downstairs, but it was too late. Their parents had crumpled to the floor, 
A defect with the lamp in the cellar caused the room to fill with an undetectable toxin. Sebastian and Anne were helpless. They had no magic yet. What a horrible story. It is. That's why I can't understand Sebastian's recklessness. I've practically lost Anne. I cannot lose Sebastian, too. Please avoid anything to do with that spell book. Yeah. Those references in the book seem promising. Everything to do with Salazar Slytherin seems promising until it's too late. I hope Sebastian pursues this no further, but if you think he might, please let me know. It would mean a lot. I am not with Ominous on this. Let's learn all about the Dark Arts. And yes, the kid is blind. I see you're having internet issues. <clears throat> Speak. Okay, I guess you're not. A man behind the moons. Yeah, let's do that. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Rebellio. Yes. Aloha, Mora. Rebellion. Identified ornamental stand. Who might give me guys statues? Oh, there's another chest here. Hello, this is his demi guy statue. Yeah, I guess like what the, the publishers didn't want to limit the player. And I'm not sure if like the actual lore of it all has anything to do with it. Identified item. Like if there was wizards that could do both, I'm not sure. Pardon me, sir. About those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're causing Mr. Moon terrible distress. Ha! Good. That was the idea. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. 
Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Duncan owes his reputation to you. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all. Clever, clever man. Hmm. I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend. Oh, we're so close to 30. another trophy. Uh, that is correct.
Is that so? There we go, two more. Two more trophies. <laughs> Alright, let's go see what this quest is for Deke. Deke would like to speak with you when you have a moment. Wait, before we speak to Deke. Royal Maroon Coat. Check marks. Hello, Deke. You wanted to talk to me. Indeed. Uh, Deke thought you might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. Oh, here we go. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Uh, young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deed suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen Thestrals before, but where would I find a pair of them nearby? Deke has seen some wild Thestrals not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from Tomes and Scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the Thestrals and you have the spellcraft, you come and find Deke. So we need a male. How nice to see you, my young friend. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take this as thanks for your generosity. <laughs>
I'm so confused. There's some right there. It's a whole load of them. Mm, what is the freezing one? Arrest the momentum. They're just flying the fuck away, too. They're gone. Oh my gosh. Revelio. Try to be invisible. He is a male. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. I'd take up herbology if it didn't involve. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Now we can conjure a breeding pen in the room. Best get back to Deke with the Thestrals. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent! Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure their pen. another area <sighs> Deke never grows tired of the room surprises we now have the perfect place for those thestrals please let Deke know once you've bred them <sighs> I 
look after you. What's happening? How long is it going to be like this? So we have to wait till it gives birth? How long is that gonna be? 30 minutes, okay. I'm gonna see if I can conjure these things in my other rooms. Okay, so we need to have space. 
since you don't have anybody, I'm gonna move you. Professor Howell will never believe this. Level 30, because we're breeding animals. So we can make a hippogriff. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Nice. All right. So in a half hour, I have bred three animals. That sounds really good. You call that a mullet. Nothing to identify, for now at least. <laughs> uh, I like it. Good stuff. <laughs> that could also be a mullet. What are you up to now? Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Highwing's fine. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I want Highwing far from it. You said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. I overheard them talking in the Hogshead, and... Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned about what else you heard the poachers are up to. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? I'm afraid not. Why? What is it? The poachers best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went into detail. I also overheard one of them bragging about all the gold they're making, at the expense of innocent creatures, undoubtedly. The poachers spoke of this area, and I thought if we searched around a bit, it might give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend after Highwing, but she knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? This way. Uh. 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 
gentle. Tread carefully. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? We aren't involved with them. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind, and the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Me too. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Whoa! That's the third time I've seen a dugbog behave that violently. It seems that a lot of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. I was not expecting that. I think We're the fear might be salty. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Pelt. Poor beasts. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Revelio. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Anything interesting? Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. I don't have a good feeling about this. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Look, down there. Definitely poachers. No creatures, though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment? Or perhaps a less discreet approach? Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. I tell you this, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. Someone's going to regret yeah. trespassing. Sometimes I do wonder if your eyes are still in your head. I really do. Protect this is almost too... Confring us! Himself. What is going on? Rebellion. Only one way to find out. I think I blew up the bridge. Repair. Her. <laughs> Revelio.
What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? What is this? It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. The name makes sense now, and secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. A more hushed approach is like the Something's not right here. Someone's here, I sense it. I swear there's something. come round to our way of thinking. Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't gonna get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, then violence is gonna get me precisely what I want. It's no doubt. That warrants a good. What was that? One in thirty. I heard something. It seems we may have him. Come here. Looks like they're good. Yeah. Uh. The money's on the horn tail. must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind us. What's going on down there? They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite a fight. That's a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Alright, I might not go secretive in this one. Look, they've got Rebellion. a dragon egg. Hepodean from the looks of it. We can't leave it here, not with the plans they likely have for it. Why am I walking? Thank you. Hello, Hamora. Do I get a dragon? Is that what it's telling me? Do I get a pet dragon?
All right, I have the egg. Ready. Revelio. Element of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Can't wait to see what this dragon thing's all about. Oh. You're the one we're looking for, and you brought a friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
got to ride the dragon. Oh. This way. I feel a little teased. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I, I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. Should we expect trouble from the poachers, given the trouble we just caused? It'd be foolish not to expect it. They're not a forgiving lot. I'm sorry to say that you likely have a larger target on your back now because of what we just did. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? Oh, another trophy. I shall trophy. see you back at the castle. Let's go. Y'all, that's three trophies today. I like fire. I'm expecting a whole bunch of things to pop up now. Let's go and complete the one quest from Deke. Oops. How far are you, Varial? It's time you learned the transformation spell. Oh, After you've completed time. the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the tone. I guess we're filled up. It's interesting. Don't spoil it, Durka. Don't do it to me. Let me pretend I'm gonna have a dragon as a friend. Ooh, three minutes to go. Alright, we're gonna just sit tight for these three minutes. Get a drink, some pop of my corn.
My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm hoping she may be easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Buddy was just telling me that this is the highest viewed uh, game on Twitch right now. That's interesting. And we're over here playing it on freaking YouTubes. I was hoping that you could just collect stuff off them. No, it's just interact. I'll look into that. I forgot how to get out of here. There we go. All right, where's Deke at? Cook. 
Could you remind me what I'm to do with the Thestrals, Deke? Uh, release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Uh, come and see Deke when you're finished. I'm done. Am I supposed to put the... I'll put the uh, baby in my inventory. Everything's all right now. What? Is this bugged? Oh, we're supposed to groom and feed it. Okay. Niffler egg. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Everything ready for that, that's nice. All right, let's go here. We're so close to having all the spells. I'm confused. I thought she was right here on this staircase somewhere.
Revelio. Yeah, we have two of them. I'm just gonna fix that tomorrow, because we have none of them. So this is the underground harbor. Revelio. Located deep beneath the viaduct cart yards is the landing for boats delivering first year students across the Black Lake to Hogwarts. <laughs> Why are you crying? Revelio. There's symbols on that. What is this? Revelio. Interact. Okay. Got numbers on it. So three and four. Lumos. That one's not doing it. Can bring up. Expel the office. Oh, wait a second. This is two. And then... That one's four. Okay. Rebellion. There they are. Good for you. Oh, man. I already forgot. Okay, so triangle is one, and triangle with a plus. is three. Triangle with a plus is three. So this is one. Thought we found a chamber of secrets.
book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Revelio. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Uh -oh. Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the lore of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Yeah, really Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? That would be the Snidget. The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question! Which potion is commonly referred to as Liquid Luck? I don't know this one. I'm gonna guess. The pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? The Deathly Hallows. Either. Correct. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the Quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded ten points. True or false? Polyjuice potion allows the drinker to change species. Oh my gosh. Uh, true? True. Actually, the answer was <sighs> false. While polyjuice potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I, I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio wants to make quick work of this. I did not do well in a quiz. This book is designed to help guide the student who wishes to pursue more complicated types of transfiguration. Professor Weasley often recommends it to our advanced students as a bit of light reading. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend transfiguration. Travel broadens the mind. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl. Thank you for your persistence and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. And don't forget to say hello the next time. Settle down. Settle down. Transfiguration 
as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you. Or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. We learned all the spells. Let's go. You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed, and frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you were able to grow a venomous tentacular. Growing such a magical plant is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Were your meetings with Professor Black's house elf and exploration of various caves down by the lake connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I was, uh, intrigued by stories of a giant squid and wanted to learn more. I encountered Scrope, who seemed delighted to share what he knew. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. This spell looks really powerful.
What am I missing? Hats. There isn't even anything important. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Let's go talk to this. <sighs> talk to Poppy about the dragon. What's me? Here I come. supposed to go. That's why you follow the yellow line. Don't not listen to the GPS. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin. I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. On another adventure, are we? It's like a place right out of a storybook.
Alohomora. Revelio. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I'm requesting your help. Meet me outside of Feldcroft, near the catacomb. I have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Is this not the same quest? Imperio. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry. We have to do this. We have to do this instead. We have to. We're just going to have to come back. Seems a pleasant enough little place. and a bit unsettling. You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned... I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. The catacomb assignment yielded more than I'd imagined. Learning about our ancestors was illuminating. However, I stumbled upon something else I could not ignore in an area behind the great room, which had suffered decay. Amid the turned over... Sarcophy, or sarcophagi. <laughs> I discovered an oddly shaped relic immediately. I sensed this power. I would be thrilled to study the relic further if only the removal of the objects were allowed. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. A 
I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Revelio, try not to lose your nerve just yet. Bombarda. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb is young, set free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Rebellion. Accio. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Confringo. Accio. This room is taller than it looks. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Revelio. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts Rebellion. and ran into problems. Often cave-ins. And then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. Rebellion. Just twenty gold pieces. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Hear that? We're in a tomb. 
I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. Accio! Revelio! Accio! Dragon. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Lumos. Akio. Lumos. Did I just get stuck? Rickety Bone Bridge complete. Revelio. There's something here by the altar. 
I foolishly mentioned the relic in my report and was reminded to leave it where it lay, but research must come before my fealty to the rules. I sense something about this relic. I was told that those chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return to it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student <coughs> who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! Compulsive! Confringo! Glaciers! If this archway is barricaded, we can find a way through. More bones. You've done it! I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. 
It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. There we go. Something troubling ahead. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. <laughs> how gracious of you. I try. Also, can bring up. Hmm. This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Revelio. Isn't it? Revelio. Perhaps we need to pull the handles in the order of the symbols on the tablets. Bombarda. This catacomb has suffered decay, just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. Oh, I cannot believe I'm full.
Varial, what did you end up picking if you're still there, bud? Revelio. We need to pull the handles in the order of Rebellion. the tablets. Circle. That worked. Keep going. All right. And then in that one is circle and triangle looking thing. Didn't work? Yeah, it did. And then... Shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revelio. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Good break 
thought that would never end. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Revelio. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind, but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Sebastian! The relic! <clears throat> Look! Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea, but we're here for the relic. I'm willing to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium! That's what I'm saying. I would take all responsibility this could save your friendship. I know how to cast it. Sebastian taught me. But I won't do it unless you agree. This is insanity. I can't believe you would ask this of me. Sebastian is never going to give up trying to cure Anne. If you try and stop him now, he'll never forgive you. I'm... I... fine. This is unfathomable. But I suppose if you want that responsibility, it may just save what is left of... of my friendship with Sebastian. Remember, this is what I was telling you about the Dark Arts. They come with a cost. You may well regret making this choice. Do what you have to do. Cast it. Before I change my mind. Imperio! Step aside, Ominous. Stay in place until we're out of sight. I will. Sebastian, come on. What did you do? Imperio, 
It was the only way to get out of here without a fight. Ominous, I'm sorry. Sebastian, we have to go. do the wrong thing. You need the relic. I know, but not like this. Ominous and I agreed. Surely there's a difference between casting Imperial on someone without their knowledge and casting it with permission. I understand what you're saying. I do, but... I've taken full responsibility. You have my word. We've looked out for each other, Ominous and I. I hope he knows that hasn't changed. How long will the spell last? How long must Ominous stay in the tomb? The curse is lifted already. He'll easily find his way out of the catacomb just as we did. He'll be all right, Sebastian. get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Revelio! Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. 
from all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best <coughs> to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Rebellion. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? He may be a problem. We might have to kill him. Wonder who lives here. Get distracted for a minute. <laughs>
such arrogance. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. I think my cat's learning how to play fetch. Rebellion. Rebellion. Merlin trials won't get the best of me.
the meat he's likely studied here. This looks intriguing. Wizard Kind will submit to us once the war is over. Guardian Leviosa. Rebellion. Next time I see Fig or that student, I'll give them what they deserve.
kitten's making this so hard. Rock has fooled you all to your demise. See what's up your sleeve this time, Marlin. I feel as though you're not even trying. Rebellion. So tricky after all, Marlin. The wizard will be Rebellion. An intruder! 
Bombarder! Confringo! Revelio! Confringo! What's that? Settled. Here's a pleasant surprise. Rebellion. One less human to worry about. You 
have Ranrock to blame. Revelio. Goblins will finally rule over with I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Bombarda. Revelio. Bombarda! Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. Revelio.
Revelio. This place has seen better days. Repair. Revelio. Repair. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Leviosa. Confringo. Repair Revelio. Repair This murder Charles won't get the best of me. speak to Sebastian. I think we got sidetracked enough. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Speak with my uncle. I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has.
What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents, and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite, a handmade crest, and without a second thought, she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the Headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Alright, that's going to be the end of my stream. See you back uh, tomorrow night, probably. Uh, you guys have a good one. Thanks, bye.